So Fort Laramie has more than four decades of regular Army history at the grand old fort out west along the Overland Trails. One of the my favorite stories or one of the most hilarious stories is one that happened just behind me on the parade grounds. So the winter of 1863 and 1864 was absolutely brutal on the troops that were stationed here at Fort Laramie and along the Overland Trails. On March 9th, 1864, men of Company E of the 11th Ohio Volunteer Cavalry were ordered to patrol the road, and in protest, the troopers got absolutely hammered and rebelled just as they were supposed to leave on patrol. So attempting to restore order, one of the sergeants shot one of the drunk soldiers who attacked him with a knife. Right then, the officer of the day, which was Lieutenant Pettyjohn, immediately rushed from the guardhouse to take control of this crazy situation. At the same time, Private John Sullivan mounted his horse and fired his revolver at Pettyjohn, but he missed. Then pistol whipped the lieutenant on the head when he was going by. So the colonel of the time of the 11th OVC, which was William Collins, expected the rest of the drunks to join the party and ordered four entire companies of troops to assemble under arms and basically surround Private Sullivan. The call to arms and all the other soldiers around the parade grounds suppressed the other drunks who might have par thought about participating, yet Private Sullivan remained out of control, riding around and threatening everyone with his pistol and galloping full tilt across the parade grounds. So after a few minutes of this going on, sick of the shenanigans, Colonel Collins ordered the entire battalion that was basically surrounding Sullivan at the time to open fire on him with full tubes of Spencer rifles. Yes, Spencer rifles, not Spencer carbines. And after the entire battalion opened fire on Private Sullivan, who was riding around all crazy, gallivanting everywhere, and after the smoke cleared, Sullivan and his horse were still standing, although not for very long. So one of the soldiers who witnessed the entire affair laughed and stated something near a thousand shots were fired in the battalion, but he, being mounted and horse running at full gallop, only received one shot with, which took effect in his thigh. Several balls passed through his clothes and one wounded his horse very badly, and that all happened before he got halfway across the parade ground. So after Sullivan had dodged basically a thousand bullets, although one did find it, Sullivan was taken to the hospital where he actually died of his wounds a few days afterwards. This ridiculous incident proved one thing to Lieutenant Collins, that was the commander of the fort at the time, that his men needed significantly more target practice before confronting any Indians out there in the field. So he immediately issued an order directing everyone to conduct target practice for the next 10 consecutive days with their arms.